Hi guys, hope you're good since last video. So this time we're gonna go for GPT-4. So in Google here, GPT-4 website. Just scroll down quickly. So just look for the models. So this is where we're gonna find all the models that we can download. Hermes and the wizard and some sort. That's the ones I wanna try today. So we get it. We can do a double you get um, and put the the link to download the the, um, the model. So some parts of this video will be fast forwarded because it takes a while. So after that uh, you can also uh, open the interface of the GPT for all and uh, you have um, the ability here to download uh, the models directly from uh, from the interface. So you see we have a uh, Vicuña and that's Hermes. So I'm doing uh, I'm using two different ways to download the models. Just fast forward it here, Hermes. Um, 13 billion parameters, almost uh, downloaded. Just wait a few seconds. So GPT-4 is a project that is going to be uh, working locally in your computer, and you'll be able to uh, use the power of uh, GPT-4 um, or different models here that you can see and. Uh, and use it as you used to do it uh, while, while you're online on GPT-4. Here we are. So the terminal is telling us that the model is uh, downloaded. That's good. And here we see that the model is going to be uh, loading. So on the top, um, it will be listing all the models that you have. See here the menu on the side like the GPT uh, OpenAI one where you have uh, different chats that you can uh, start you can download those so here is the model in the middle on the top the v 13 b Hermes and um, the other one is still downloaded you can update here using this button so conversation uh, to copy the conversation to the clipboard here you can have uh, options with the temperature here for example so you can uh, tune those uh, options here and uh, you can put a prompt to template also as you can see so the percentage one that's uh, what you tap uh, down there so it's just gonna get it from uh, the terminal saying that uh, whatever comes from uh, the input space is uh, coming from uh, the human. And here is the, the path. You can change the path. That's the path for the, the models. So you can put all the models in your SSD uh, hard drive and uh, just uh, uh, tell the path here, CP2, CPU treats, save chats, to disk, enable web server. I'm um, still discovering this. Local documents. So you can also uh, use documents and talk to those documents, which is good when you work locally. Collections, so that's the data collections that you might have. Yeah. So you can choose the uh, to share um, your conversations for the community GPT for all. Kind of an open source database. So they'll be able to improve it. So here I'm just gonna tap hello. So I'm using a HP computer at the moment. And um, here in the, you can see in the task manager. So uh, this is a VM in VMware, and uh, the task manager is, is not giving me uh, crazy numbers. It 
it's a 16 uh, gigabyte RAM. Computers, let's see, you see, it can take a while to answer. So I've been downloading all those uh, models and uh, different apps, but uh, in my computer, it takes uh, a while to generate a response. You can also use uh, cloud providers and uh, get it running on uh, on their instances with more uh, with GPUs actually and uh, CPUs also with a little bit more than 16 like uh, from 30 to 40 I believe you can run this a uh, little bit uh, more smoothly so I'm just going to try to show you here the path that I showed you before where the models are located just get rid of this so in your home folder dot local share nomic dot ai and gpt4 that's where it is for me so uh, i got the first model the hermes one and the, the other one the wizard 13b and censored is uh, still uh, downloaded so that's why it's written incomplete Local docs, P. Just check if the response is generated, not yet. Nothing uh, wrong in the terminal. Hello, so I got my answer. You see, it took a while, it took a few minutes. Um, try to put give me the model of, um, of a polygon smart contract please polite is the model so give me the model of a polygon uh, smart contract. I don't know if I'm gonna wait until it uh, gives me an answer, but I see here that uh, nothing has uh, been sent. So because uh, I have this uh, button down there telling me regenerate response, so something went wrong. Give me a model of Polygon Smart Contract Network. So I can't send it. You see, it's not responding. Just gonna wait. But uh, what I've did, what I've done, I just restarted it. And I put another prompt. Please give me a model of a polygon network smart contract for NFT collection called the, the Savage Hamsters and uh, costing uh, 100 Matic with possibility to charge to change uh, the NFT price. Uh, this is price for contract owner, owner's address. Uh, I mean, to change a different variable, possibility to cash out the money when people. Buy. No, it's not like that. There's a typo here. The NFT and uh, people can buy only five NFTs in a single transaction and ten NFT for the maximum per address. So I think this prompt is uh, too long. It's not gonna work. Uh, I mean, in my computer, as my computer is a bit slow. But uh, let's uh, let's see how the processing goes. If it takes too much time, I'm just gonna pass to the other model. Okay, so let's go to the other model. So this is the path again, where the models are.
go here to parameters. I didn't change any of those. Just kept it uh, the same. Wizard, uncensored, certainly. But uh, you understand how, how it works. I just wanted to show you how to download the models. There's two different ways, using the website. The other way is just uh, getting the link from the website, using your terminal, wget, put it in the right folder. How you know where the folder is, you open uh, the GPT-4 uh, web UI interface. You go into the settings and uh, this will be showing you where, where, is, the, where is the path. Uh, you can change that path and put the model wherever you want, even if you have it in your hard drive, in an external hard drive. So here I'm just going to ask uh, to this model a uh, very simple question. Are you uncensored? Uncensored? Question mark. That's it. Let's see if this model is, this model takes uh, less time than the other one. Yes, so this model actually is good in my computer as it's uh, giving me the answer a little bit quicker. And is uncensored. I'm using the other model because in Hugging Face it's been uh, ranking at the top. There's a new model now ranking at the top with 40 uh, billion parameters, but this one is impossible to run in your local computer. You might need uh, to, uh, to go to a cloud provider and uh, open an instance there with uh, I mean a very strong instance so you need to pay actually to run that model here we go so here's here the video stops uh, thank you I hope uh, that you liked it see you next time